landscaper's got his line painted but not in shadow coming in at an angle right here it's not something we want to do because if you come in at an angle to this concrete this is going to come down to a triangle to a point right here which i guarantee is going to break off in the future so i'm going to adjust his line just a little bit i'm going to come in more at a at a 90 if i can and then start to curve that way i can get that to be thicker at the end and it's going to be a lot safer show you how he he's going to angle that down we're at a little bit of a side kind of a side angle there so he's gonna you know make sure it's nice and nice and flat going back again we're on, a, we're on a driveway here we are in north dakota you're gonna get all sorts of snow on this they're gonna be using snow blowers a lot of people use skid steers and things like that we don't do any curb going along a sidewalk or a driveway that is gonna go lengthwise along the edge because nine times out of ten that's gonna get destroyed within a couple winters okay he's he's angling that down you know a quarter inch to a half inch below the lip of the concrete itself and we're thinking about people that are doing you know running their shovel in the winter trying to get snow out of there so if that shovel does go over the edge it's still not gonna hit the concrete so we got to be careful in that sense now you guys that are down south obviously you don't have you know that issue um, but you know you, you, up here we kind of have to think ahead on uh, on what's going on in four seasons and winter is definitely a, an issue up here um, so he's kind of angling that back now if we come more at an angle this way like the line said this would get really thin at the end you wouldn't have hardly any mud there and i guarantee that's going to crack so basically all i did is i took that line and i just kind of it's it's still going to be the same general shape but i just kind of came out more at a, at a at a 90 degree angle and then kind of filtered it in a little bit so it's going to be stronger at okay, the end. If you notice here just on this corner we have a downspout that's right there what i what i would suggest maybe to the homeowners is is when you have that down just maybe put a little extension so the the water goes out on the concrete itself uh, but because the water is going to come down to this corner we're going to go ahead and put a drain down there um, as you know curbing guys contractors whatever else it's our responsibility to make sure the home the foundation all that is going to be protected uh, because of you know the water and um, basically everything from the roof so we'll put a, a drain somewhere down at the end here just to make sure that water escapes to cover to cover us in case they do have some foundation issues and we can let them know that hey that's uh you know that's something that we took care of i always suggest to the homeowners all your downspouts should be over the curb or the water should be draining outside where the curb can't hold it in you have four or five thousand extra square feet of of uh, area up there coming down a downspout um, that needs to go over the curb drains in the curb i tell all homeowners drains in the curb only is going to protect you from direct rain and snow melt since we're up in the north if you have your downspouts inside the curb and you have drains there anyway and you get a heavy rainstorm that may not protect you because that water can exit faster than it's coming down the downspout and some of that water could get in the basement or whatever else so it's their responsibility to get that water from the roof outside the curb okay we've placed some drains along the front of this house um, i've had people asked not to put them in because they don't like the way they look <clears throat> and i've always refused that unless they sign uh, sign a waiver sign your invoice or whatever else saying that they're we're not responsible for any issues with the foundation and whatever else once you even mention that um, they have us put it in so I've never done a property without putting them in I only put them in around a house because we're concerned about basements we have a lot of basements here in North Dakota basements foundations structures things like that the uh, the islands tree rings we don't put them in unless they specifically want us to put them in and they have a mark before we start after the fact if it's in we didn't put any uh, drains in their islands and they call and say they want drains put in i just basically tell them hey that's not something that we do ahead of time um, normally unless you tell us if you want them cut in there you're going to have to rent yourself a concrete saw and go cut them in that's not our responsibility after the fact around a house is really the main thing that we're concerned about that's another reason for doing waves and curves because you can manipulate where the water is going to drain. I know the water is going to settle at the bottom of every curve if the drainage is correct. Okay, if it's flat or whatever else, it might not work. But you, our butts are covered. Okay, Waves and curves look a lot better anyway. But 
that's where we're gonna put them to protect ourselves. We have to put one more drain right here because I know water's gonna settle at the bottom of that curb and so on all the way around Landscaper the house. drew the line close enough to the wall here so this could drop on top and the water could run out, which is fantastic. But because it is a little bit longer than the curb itself, when they come by here with a mower, uh, the homeowner is gonna pick that up and he's gonna attach it you know, to the house and then half the time they're gonna forget to put it back down and you get a heavy rainstorm and then that water goes inside the curb and so on. If you don't have drains, that could be trouble. What I tell the homeowners to do is when we're all down, the curb's dry and so on, just go ahead and cut this off so it fits the curb, okay? So you can leave that on the curb all the time. You never have to lift it up when you're mowing and it's gonna stay there. So when you lift it up, you don't forget to put it back down. So a lot of times that'll extend over the curb three or four feet or, or so on just cut it to fit and then you never have to worry about putting it back up again.